I'll make videos like this with the help of this new model called Skyreel and this video is all you need to know about the Skyreel version 2 and, and by the end of the video you'll know everything about how this works, what is the main role of this model and how you can use the best R of this model and how you can use extended high quality AI video which are long enough. So yeah, this is the video you need to understand the AI generation video. I'm Adit and you're watching Skillcurve. So now let's talk about first Skyreel in general, like what is this? So first they released a new version 2 model, which is something we need to talk about. So the main aspects of this model is support for generating videos for virtually unlimited length. This means we are not just limited to long image to video generation, but we can now extend existing video clips and add much more imaginative creative endings. Now they have demonstrated this clip with new videos, but the main thing is the model maintains natural motion, no weird warping and those frozen stone-like frames. Every moving element behaves uniquely throughout, the visuals are not overly saturated either. So this variant is dubbed the TF version with the model based designed to handle extended video generation seamlessly. Now let's talk about the technology behind this model, how this works cause this is also important to understand the working of the model that we are using right now. So the tech is something called the fusion forcing model which supports both image to video and text to video workflow. Skyreel has listed several updates in version 2, some already live on Hugging Face and Modelscope and more on the way. While the text to video and image to video model remain standard, the real innovation is the diffusion forcing capability, which is what we are exploring today. So just like we covered the frame pack, now it's time to generate this AI video model, which is also similar to frame pack. And we will see, is it even better than frame pack or it's just the same as frame pack for creating extended AI videos? Well, both are interesting model, by the way. Now we'll be testing out these diffusion forcing model ways which test to video, image to video, and even video to video extension, it's just not about running one image through one model, you can now extend full videos creatively. Now let's talk about some of the videos we generated from this model, it's really interesting to see. Now first, we uploaded this image of the AI generated queen, you can see she's wearing an armor of golden armor, uh, having a white scarf on her hair. So we just uploaded this pic and said make her a little bit cry in the prompt section and look at the video it generated, just as just a 4 second video we generated. But Skyreel did a really great job here. I was not expecting this. Look at the background movement first. The background was very still and the way her armor is moving makes it really interesting. The cloth physics is absolutely good. I'm a really big fan of that. But one thing I would say, the way her facial expressions are a little bit unrealistic. Like look at her hand first. Her hand is literally inside her face, a little bit inside her eyes, which makes it a little bit creepy, but wait. I think Skyrim did a really good job here when it comes to when it when it's really in initial phases. In other videos, we have this a woman uh, having a wine glass. Uh, it's a very short video actually. Look at the video first. So it's a very small 10 second video we generated from Skyreel. The movement of glass and hands is okay. The fingers are four, which is pretty good. And the reflection and the transparency of glass is good. But one thing I would say, glass is a little bit tilted and the wine is not uh, going to her mouth, which makes it a little bit uh, unrealistic. But hair movement and facial expression is absolutely good. Skyreel did an absolute good job here. Fingers and hands and everything movements is good. Clothes good, hair good. But one thing I would say is the wine fluid and the way it's flowing is pretty unrealistic. But you know what? Most AI generated platform just suffers from this physics. Okay, another key video we generated from that image, you can see the image on the top side and the video on the bottom side. Uh, the dog is sleeping and look at him. He wokes up, started, uh, you know, shaking her tail and look at the facial expression of the dog has. It's looking very sleepy eyes and the way he's speaking. However, the lip sync is a bit... Uh, not good but one thing i would say the movement of ear and other expression thing is good however one thing i would say it's not good the bloody background stuff but okay skyril is very good job here 
okay another cute video we have of this pandas what we did is we just upload the image of the panda and you can see the video they all are walking but one thing i would say is they're walking on the same place for a time like this video is almost 11 seconds long and one thing you can see is they are walking on the same place the camera movement is steamed there but after a few seconds they started walking really really actual so they just came in front of the camera but however the video is absolutely good their consistency remains same which is a very good thing because most of the ai model do have this hallucination when it comes to consistency but all these beer of the cute candy beer did a very well job here when it comes to creating consistency you can see behind there is also a bird but however it was a little bit blurry which makes it even consistent okay another video we had was very interesting so it's a 30 second long video you can see the video of a turtle so what this video is simply just image of the turtle and skyrail generated it a very long video you can see it's in front of you it's a 30 second video and itself is a very interesting video you can see um, the reflection of water and other fishes are coming towards the turtle makes it really realistic you can see there are also some of the uh, weird tree plants inside uh, this ocean but okay i love the way the physics the movement of hand of the turtle but uh, it gets a little bit uh, unrealistic when it comes to uh, eight second of the video when it goes upper side of the ocean and you can see the water upper layer with a weird reflection but i'm really amazed the way skyreel made the video out of it okay another video we have is a, like 30 second video of a jellyfish it's also in the ocean skyrail is pretty good when it comes to making video related to a oceans like look at the way the movement of the camera it is capturing and the way it's capturing the entire ocean uh, surface i'm really amazed the way it's glowing pink color and i really like the way uh, you know the jellyfish uh, flooring her so now you have an idea how powerful Skyreels version 2 is when it comes to generating and extending video indefinitely. So okay, on the video we have this swan, it's uh, you know drinking water and you can see the smoke coming from the this entire pond and one thing you are still noticing that all these three videos, the recent videos, water physics is absolutely good. Most of the models which are latest video generating model, they lack when it comes to messing with physics of the water but skyreel is really good look at the way it having a ripple effect when uh, the swan is you know drinking water the way the water is having a ripple effect i really impressed the way smoke effect comes and okay i love the way uh, the skyreel handling the water and the physics the first thing to do is you can update your one video wrapper if you don't miss it just go to um, simple github and just with command line you can install it now to use skyreel version 2 with ven 2.1 you need to head to the comfy ui repository by kj and locate the skyreel folder inside you'll find models in fp8 fp16 and fp32 format today we are using skyreel version 2 df model with 1.3 billion parameters in fp 32 format this low parameter count makes it accessible for most gpus and ideal for general use download it and place it in the model slash diffusion underscore models slash directory in your setup and that's it now you'll find some example workflow look for the title skyreel diffusion forging extension designed to generate long form both images and existing videos inputs you can easily drag and drop the components to customize it your liking the df 1.3 billion model can be used not to just text to video but also with lora if you want to experiment the compatibility depends on how lora was trained now let's look at the actual sampling process. Use the one video text encoder for your positive and negative prompt. You will see set parameters like empty latent embedding size, frame count, video length, TCASI, CFG start, SLG for layer guidance. Instead of the standard sampler, use the new diffusion forcing sampler. This sampler is key when using preflex sampling and extend video length. It recognizes TF type models like 1.3 billion or 14 billion which is much stronger and requires stronger GPU anyways. 
The good news is DF 1.3 runs comfortably on most setups using roughly on like 5 to 6 GB VRAM, stable diffuse and actual. In the custom notes you'll find sample workflow to play around with. For instance, I modified one of the provided workflow to generate longer clips for short 107 frame video. The extended version 15 seconds long including background and audio generated with sound models. So movements are fluid, characters emote and the camera flows smoothly. Each frame feels distinct to a lie. Now in this test, I use extension with the Skyreel version 2DF node, adjusting parameters and testing with 1 billion parameter model size along with Sage Attention. If Sage is not installed, SDP Attention is valid fallback and works fine for the Windows machine. Then we move to the text prompt. For example, I use a single prompt, a woman gets and walked over the camera, pair with an initial image and the model and generates motion over multiple frames so 46 to 97 frames often are not enough for complete action as the model renders it overlaps 17 frames from one sampling round and reuses them in the next this avoids awkward transition giving a coherent smooth video the sequence flows uh, from one batch to one frame next video those weird pauses and jittery cuts common in early approaches by starting from the midpoint of the first video then moving to the second and third samplers, each transition blends naturally. In the final step, I skipped using image batch multi and instead use join videos from another node that lets you adjust frame rates in FPS setting. For audio, you can use MM audio node to merge sound and visuals into a complete clip and you can get a fully generated video with sound enhanced. So yes, Skyreel version 2 powered by VAN 2.0 based on 1.3 billion parameter model can generate an excellent video with smooth transition, yeah, meaningful motion and even motion in characters. This is a really huge step forward for the overall quality. However, it's not that flawless and sometimes if I feel that frame pack might be a better choice, but slowly it's getting better and fine tuning makes it even better. If you like this video, just simply click on like button, share it, and for more such cutting edge tutorial, latest technologies videos every day, just subscribe to the channel.